Hello, Wiki Tree. I decided it was time to do a little video to show how to put an inline reference in the biography. Because sometimes it's a whole lot easier to see something done than it is to read about it. So this is my mom's profile. I'm sure you've heard the old adage about the cobbler's children having no shoes. Well, this is my mom's profile and it's pretty much empty. So it's about time I add something for her. And this is my mom right here in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to put a timeline in here. And when I do timelines on my profiles, I like to have inline citations so that I can link a source to each fact in the timeline. So here I am. I clicked edit. I'm in the biography box. I'm going to add a timeline header. I would like I would like it to be a little bit indented from the biography and the sources header, so I'm going to make it a level three header by using three equal signs. For the entry, I would like to have it indented a little bit so it kind of lines up with this because I'm kind of picky about how things are lined up. So I'm going to indent it just a little bit by using one colon, and I'm going to bold the year by using three apostrophes. You can accomplish the same thing, the bolding, by just using the bold button up here. I'll show you how that works. I just don't like to take my hands off the keyboard if I don't have to. So I could go 1940, highlight it, and click the button, and it puts those three apostrophes in for me. So if you have trouble remembering, um, you know, like, what do I do to make it bold? Just use the buttons up here at the top. Okay, so over here on... Family search. I have my mom. Where did she go? Figures. I had it up here just a second ago and now it's gone. Here we go. I was in the wrong collection. Here she is. 1940 census. Here she is with her family. In 1940, they lived in Galesburg, Illinois. So I'm going to grab this citation that they so nicely put out here for me. I love Family Search. So I just highlighted that and I'm going to copy it using Control C, Command C if you're on an Apple. Come back over here on my profile and I want to go ahead and say where she was living then. Galesburg, Knox County, Illinois. And this is where I'm going to start my inline citation. So if you can't remember what the codes are to start an inline citation, Chris has graciously added a button for us. This is pretty new. We, this hasn't been there that long. So if you want to put an inline citation here, you see the cursor blinking. Come up here and click the C. And right now you'll see that it added a pair of tags. And in here is where I'm going to paste my citation. But before I do that, I want to explain about these tags. So in Wiki Markup, or HTML, you're always going to have tags that will encase text and they come in pairs. An inline reference tag is called ref. You have the beginning tag that just looks like ref in between the less than and greater than symbols and you have the closing tag which is the same exact same thing but you tell the computer that it's closed by putting a slash in here. It's pretty simple. So now it already highlighted this text here for me because I certainly don't want to leave that there. I'm just going to do control V to, po to paste my citation in. And then I want to actually bring that back up here on the last line. So now you can see it starts here and it ends there. In addition to the ref tags, in order to make them show up as footnotes, your profile will need to have this line, the references line. It should automatically have been placed on your profile when you created it. Occasionally they do get deleted by accident, um, but make sure that if it's not there you just put that back in there. It's just the word references followed by a space and another slash and they're again enclosed within the less than and greater than signs. So now when I go into preview, I am going to see this information that I just pasted in. It's going to show up down here as a footnote. 
click preview. Voila. Here we have the footnote number with the actual text from the footnote down here. Now I can do another one. Let's just put in, I'm just going to put in a fake entry here. We're going to say, let's see, 1961. That was the year I was born. So Alice's daughter, Julie was born. And I'm just going to put a note in here. I can, I can either get citations from a site and paste it in here, or I can put a note in. Say, I know this because I'm Julie. Again, I have to close that out. I didn't use the button that time because I don't like to take my hands off the keyboard, so I just typed in the tag ref, the ref tags. Open, close. Now we'll see that that's going to create another footnote and it will be automatically numbered down here. Again, preview. There's my second footnote. And there it is down there. Now if I want to, let's say that I said, uh, you know, that's kind of silly that I'm putting that in there. I'm going to put this up here and I'm just going to create an entry for my mom for when she was born. Let's see, what was it, 1926? Yes. Alice was born to Arvid and Karen Bergstrom Olson. Um, need to find her birth certificate. Again, open with the ref, close with the slash ref. You'll see that now I put this one ahead of this one. So what do you think is going to happen? It's going to be numbered appropriately. Go down here. Now we see that this first note has one as the footnote. And the second one has the second has two because I changed the order of how it was entered. So now, again, it automatically numbers. If somebody comes along later and they have an additional entry to make on the timeline, or if I find more information, I can come in here and insert in between. These will automatically be renumbered. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I have to share. You need to make sure that your references statement is here. And that's all. If you have questions, please post here in G2G to let me know, or you can send me a message, and I'm happy to answer questions. That should be that. Thank you.